And I was trying to make my bed, and this one came to help me. <gasps> Be nice! He is doing really well with them. He just, he plays a little rough with the cats, and Nancy doesn't appreciate it. But here's my nan, and my lude. Hi, babe. What are you doing? Hello. What's going on, you booty booty? I was making my bed, but then Nancy and Ludo were on my bed, so never mind. That got hiatus for a little bit, um, watching some vlogs. Some, like, book, book vlogs. Hello. I'm always looking for book suggestions. So, I'm... <laughs> Can I help you? Fuck, you're cute. We have to talk about you. Um, we are gonna be going to, like, dinner type thing with some friends tonight. And I'm super excited. Because I like a big pizza. Well, I'm out, so. Um, we usually do this during the warmer seasons. Um, we go and, like, eat lunch or dinner together, um, sometimes at a friend's house, sometimes out in, like, restaurants and stuff. So today's gonna be our, actually, it's a dog park, um, it's an indoor dog park in Grand Rapids. Um, I am not taking this boy, because he is, he's social to a point, and he's not much of a player either, like, he, I think he's still trying to learn how to play properly with other dogs, but I just, he's not much of a player and it'll be a waste of money. <laughs> and he can't come and sit with me while I'm eating, so. We're gonna leave him at home, um, but we're gonna go see some friends and eat some pizza. So, we'll do that in a little bit. We are so close to lunch. I am watching a book vlogger. I'm looking for some more book vloggers. I'm always up for book vloggers. Um, and I'm going to read a little bit, and then I'm going to be ready to make some lunch. Um, and then I might go outside and eat. And read my book. Because it is really nice out today. I do eventually have to go for a run. Um, I was trying to decide, because I'm on my marathon training, I wanted to do today with the 19 miler long run I'm scheduled for tomorrow. I might just end up doing it tomorrow, because today I feel like I just I waited too long. <laughs> oh, so yeah I might just take this boy outside and go sit outside and eat lunch but we'll find out how I'm feeling let's let's just read for a little bit so I am going to be making quesadilla um, for lunch I uh, might have another yogurt I'm not 100% sure I kind of have one for a snack but <clears throat> I'm going to make it a little bit different than what I'm sorry uh, used to doing um, I'm gonna add a little bit of refried beans. I bought these at our local Meyer. Um, they are, I love these pouches. I usually buy the cilantro lime rice. And what you do is just like put water in, like kind of put them in, like these, this one's different. Like the, the, the spice, these have jalapenos in them. Um, the spicy, uh, refried beans is different because I have to take them out of the pouch and cook them in the on the stove like this to get back there um with like the cilantro lime rice and a few of the others you just put the bag in actual boiling water no i think i'm thinking of a different one i think the cilantro lime rice i have to take out too they are all the like i had like a southwest bowl okay i'm thinking of two separate things but yeah you take them out just add a sprinkle of water i think one to two teaspoons of water um and then yeah it doesn't take it very long to cook so I'm going to cook these up, move them separately over, and then start making my quesadilla. Don't, don't mind the rest of it. Yeah, we need to get that out of there. Um, decided to put it together. Figured my my little refried beans were ready. Um, this is a monstrosity. <laughs> I'm hoping this fills me up for lunch until we're going out to dinner with friends. Um, I'm pretty sure it 100% will fill me up, but um, I have a cheese I'm feeling kind of skeptical about. Um, I'm vegetarian trying to go vegan and years ago I when I first started going vegetarian and wanted to kind of cut out dairy products um, I started buying like vegan cheese and this 
Daya was really the only vegan cheese. What's she doing? Oh, um, was really the only vegan cheese that I could find. Um, it's kind of expensive, but it really isn't the greatest. It tastes very metallic. It used to, to me. Um, and so I so just as I found more products that I like, um, I've just stopped buying it. But then I noticed they have more flavors when we went to Meyer this past weekend. And um, apparently they reformulated to oat cream, but I just put it on my, a little bit on my quesadilla. I put regular cheese on there too. Um, and I don't have high hopes for it. A, my, my main problems are that it tastes kind of metallic-y and it doesn't melt properly. Like it doesn't melt like a normal uh, cheese does. And I, I kind of, that's a big thing for me. So we'll see. I'm always willing to give it a try. So I posted this on my Facebook page because we're looking to try and find this dog, but we were supposed to go out to lunch with friends. That has since been canceled because um, one of the dogs at my mom's work went missing. She slipped out of her harness this morning, and so we all kind of mobilized because we all love these dogs like they're ours and uh, went looking for her. Unfortunately, she has not been found yet, and my worry is she's a heat stroke kid. She's very prone to heat strokes, and it's like one of the hotter days now. We're getting into the hotter days here in Michigan, and it's hotter out, and I'm like, no. <laughs> it is, I think it's topped out at 83 degrees. Um, today is what it's supposed to be, and it's not supposed to start cooling down until, of course, when the sun goes down. So, I mean, that's typical summer in Michigan, but I am so concerned because, I mean, they've left water out for her. They're leaving food out for her, but <sighs> just, I'm going to drive myself insane tonight because, you know, I don't like knowing that there's a lost dog that's, you know, a health risk. I feel, I feel bad. Heat stroke is nothing to mess with. And so, update from the missing dog. She has been found, thank God, because I was going to be spiraling, and I know my mom was going to be spiraling about A, one of the volunteers, B, her being out by herself all night, but wanted to give an update on the missing dog. Um, she has been found safe and sound, so that's good. That's awesome. That makes me happy. Um, now I need to decide what I'm gonna do for dinner. What do you have? That that is not a toy. What is it, <laughs> little James? This is an animatronic. Where did you get this? can probably be thrown out. You can't have that. It has electronic stuff in it. You have so many other toys. I just bought you a brand new toy. And it's out in the yard. Get a pit bull, they said. It'll be fun, they said. I'll tell you, this is my third bully breed. And I'm just, while I love him, he's a pain in the butt. Not like my other one who used to eat dumb stuff. But, yeah. yeah. You're not getting this. This has a... I don't even know where you got this. I don't even know where it came from. I'm pretty sure it's from my room, but I don't even remember having it. I'm gonna throw it out though. We are finishing up our Saturday evening with him on the back deck, just enjoying the day. Um, we do have, we're gonna get a better fence than that. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? How did you get a hold of those? We're gonna get a better fence because, you know, we need one so he can't go out in the yard all the time. Because it's just better for him. But, um, he is enjoying the day. It was absolutely beautiful today. Um, absolutely beautiful today. I got up in the 80s today. Um, that's very exciting. I love, I love summer. I really do. Not my favorite season. Not my top tier favorite season. That's fall, obviously. Um, Ludo, what are you doing? Are you eating stuff you shouldn't be? Maybe. Um, but it is, it is, it is up there. Uh, then we have tomorrow off, and then I'm back to work, and then we have Memorial Day weekend. That's exciting. Alright. Uh, we'll probably end up, once the sun goes down, going back to bed and watching, watching a movie or something. I've technically started Baby Reindeer. I need to finish it. So that's a really effed up case. If you've never watched that one, watch it. Good morning. Sunday. I am out for a run. I really don't know how far I want to go today. So we're just going to run until I'm tired. 
which it might not be a good thing because I didn't bring any gels or anything with me. I did have a stinger waffle before I came out, so we'll see. My body might catch up with me before my mind does. So right now it's just trying to get myself into a good mental space. Um, since Riverbank Run is done, we are now going to do the K9K, which is next month in June. And uh, I was thinking about running it with a dog. And I think I had one year I ran it without a dog. And that was the 9K. So the 9K is a little over five miles. The 3K is like one mile. My mom usually does that with schnapps. I did it a couple times with Guido. This will be my first race without Guido. And I was planning on training with the stroller for the 9K with him. So this is going to be a hard one for me. For me. Um, I don't know if I've ever come on here and tell you guys that I lost Guido about five months ago um, in December. And uh, it's been hard. There's just been a lot of firsts. Like this Halloween is going to be hard. But Ludo's been helping, thank God. I, yeah, I can't live without a dog. I think I went to live a little over a month without a dog and I'm just going crazy. So, yeah, we are out here. I felt like I had to get a good run in first thing this morning before it got too warm. I don't think it might be able, I think it's, they said 84 today. So, back to butt crack of dawn runs again. Because now I'm training for a fall half marathon, which is the she run, so, yeah, but K9K is the next one, and then we'll start really ramping up to, with training for the she run, plus I'm going to do the 10K or the 5K for Summerfest this year, because I didn't do it last year, I was so nervous, um, we'll see how I'm feeling if it's for the 10 or the 5, because... I think I'm going to give myself till <sighs> July, because it's in August, it's like towards the end of August, so for the end of July, we'll make that decision. Let's do this! So close to four hours right now, I think I'm just turning around, so I get kind of hungry, so it's at home, get, a, get some food. And I'm probably gonna go out and take a little for a walk because it looks like it's gonna be absolutely beautiful today. So, it's so nice. You guys see him behind me? I love him. He's got flowers. He's all set for summer. Hopefully, I will have my own. Like, I'm thinking mid July. I'm gonna order it if it's still available. Because I was gonna focus on getting Skelly's dog. If you guys don't know, Home Depot came out with like a. 12 foot, something a little bit smaller, uh, skeleton dog. I'm like, I gotta hurry up, I gotta get to this. I'm saving up for this dang skeleton. Uh, went to go order it, it was already sold out. <laughs> so hopefully next year we'll get Skelly, his dog, or I'm gonna keep looking. Maybe it'll come back on sale. But sometimes I'm not so lucky. It's taking me four years just to get my own <laughs> giant skeleton. <laughs> so hopefully mid-July, that's the plan. We are almost done. I am at the turnaround point. We are almost on the way home. Where did he go? Oh, I think he's gonna go downstairs, but he's over there. I'm home for my run, obviously. And... Oh, we, I think he dropped his Kong down the uh, stairs. That's fine. If he wants to go hang out in the yard, he's allowed to go hang out in the yard. Um, I'm back for my run. It was a long run today, so really I didn't care about my time or my pace. Just kind of wanted to get it in, and today was a run until you drop, which is, I was going to see how long I wanted to run today, because um, Riverbank is done, I'm not training for that anymore, and yeah, I got darn near five miles in today, which is my next race, is a little over five miles, so that's exciting. Um, but I like taking little breaks here and there between training and races, but yeah. Uh, I am outside because I don't want to squander this beautiful Sunday um, and I'm gonna read a little bit because I want to finish this either before Memorial Day weekend which is next weekend during Memorial Day weekend because I want to start the other Stephen King book that I got um, on Black Friday of last year so he's down there 
there somewhere. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna finish that, but I'm gonna enjoy this beautiful Sunday. And I do have some stuff to do around the house. I got a vacuum and stuff like that, but I'll, that's, that's later me problem. <laughs> Why do you literally just look the cutest just being you? You're just so cute. You're just so cute. <laughs> Ludo. Ludo. It's like I'm just gonna carry my cog around. <sighs> I understand why both of the families that had to give him up didn't want to, because he's such a sweet boy. He's only been here three months, almost four, and he seems to be settling in like he's been living here longer than that. So <laughs> it's been it's been good transition with him. He's been a little bit rough trying to play with the cats, but we, that was to be expected because he used to like to chase the cats in one of the two households that he had before me. So he's not trying to be malicious or anything, but probably. I'm not trying to be mean to my cat siblings. I'm just. I want to play with them. <laughs> All right, it is. I'm now taking a break. I read some more of my Stephen King book for a little bit. I am so close to being done with Fairy Tales by Stephen King, and then I'm just gonna lead into another Stephen King book. I'll show you guys that when I finish it. I'm hoping to finish it today. <sighs> Sorry. Um, I'm hoping to finish it today so then I can start the other one before Memorial Day and then just finish it Memorial Day weekend. So I'm really not gonna do much other than like. Maybe get him a pool, because I don't know if he likes water or not. Um, and, like, sit by the by his pool and, like, chill. Because it's actually supposed to be pretty nice this next weekend. It's Memorial Day weekend, so I have a four-day weekend. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> That'll be nice. Uh, so, hopefully I'll finish it today. It is so beautiful outside. I've already got my run in today. Um, I, I think I can be allotted that. But I'm trying to decide what I want for lunch. I have sriracha... Uh, ramen noodles that I absolutely love. If you're a huge spicy person like me, highly recommend them. You can get them for, I think, $7.69 at Meijer. Um, I live in Michigan. If you don't have a Meijer, I'm pretty sure they're at other grocery stores as well. Um, but yeah, they're actually pretty good. If you like some kick in your ramen, I usually end up adding uh, sriracha sauce anyway. Or, or I'm going to have a salad. I don't know. I can't decide. I'm leaning more toward ramen, though. I made a decision. I just ate it. Um, I just had a salad. They're pre-made ones from Walmart. Um, they're like these mini ones. They were like $1.98 a piece. This one is the Pizza Ranch one. Really good. I bought three of them. What did I get? I got the Pizza Ranch. Um, I think the Greek Goddess, which I've had that one before and loved it. And there was another one that I got, but I can't remember. It was a weird like flavor and it sounded weird to me. And I'm like, I'm probably going to hate this, but now I'm going to eat my haagen -Dazs. Um, yogurt. They only had like a few flavors. They had like a coffee yogurt and I'm not a huge coffee flavored things. I think I've had a couple ice creams that I've actually wanted to try and I've actually liked them. But um, yeah, my yogurt, no coffee. <laughs> um, but I'm excited for the strawberry. I'm gonna try this. I have a couple other uh, yogurt, so they have to try this boy. This is chilling with mom. I bought a horseshoe set last weekend at Five Below because I've been dying for a horseshoe set, and I want a metal horseshoe set because we used to have one, and uh, I can't find one. So I'm, I'm like, maybe I'll look on Amazon, but I wanted one right this very second. Uh, so I found one at Five Below for like five bucks. Um, and I'm like, heck yeah, it's like plastic weighted, but I'm really excited. Dad thinks, my dad thinks that we're not going to be able to do it because of him. Um, I am going to bet him on that one and we're going to try it because I want to play horseshoe today because it's so freaking nice out. We'll definitely have a chance next weekend to do it. I, like I said, I already got my run out of the way as you guys saw. And so, yeah, <laughs> I'm very excited though. I am enjoying this day. It's so beautiful out. See my yogurt. Oh, we are still outside just chilling. I'm, I have stuff I need to do, but I was just like, it is so beautiful out today. I just cannot squander this. Um, we might stay outside for a little bit longer tonight also because I like taking him for like a walk or, um, oh my goodness, my nose is just, I'm sorry, or 
just chill on the back deck when I come home from work, just give him a little bit of room to like, yeah, because he gets cooped up in my bedroom. Um, not all day, because my dad takes him out for quite some time to like let him chill, but I work 10 hours days, and then my short days are 6 hours, and I don't take him with me, which is weird, because I used to take Guido with me all the time. Um, but I want him to have a little extra time out here today, because I work Monday through Thursday, and Thursday's my short day, and then I have my four-day weekend for the holiday. Um, so he's going to be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 10 hours, like, cooped up. And I think we're supposed to have storms Tuesday and Wednesday, so I'm, I'm going to play walking him after work by ear. Um, but I've been liking taking him on walks or just sitting outside with him, depending on how exhausted I am. So again, we'll play those by ears, by ear. Um, yeah, I guess we're supposed to have some severe storms Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, so, yeah, we had a potential tornado in Middleville, which is like 30 minutes away from us, so that was scary. But, yeah, so we're not going to mess with the severe storms, so this week I might have to play it by ear if we go on walks or if we sit outside. So, but I want to keep him out as long as possible today. He seems to be enjoying it. Um, also, I have never been a cream soda kind of girl. Uh, this one, really, really good. Huge Olipop girl. I have the Fruit Punch one finally. Loving it. <laughs> Super good. But this one, this makes me like cream sodas. So. But I do have stuff to do. We'll get that done soon. It is officially after 3 p.m. Ludo is out here pottying, and yeah. <laughs> when my mom gets home from work, we usually let the dogs out. She's not allowed shops out yet, though. I was trying to keep Ludo from, like, he went, like, slams into shops to get him to play because he's so excited to go outside with shops. And, uh, so I'm gonna be trying to get him outside first so he doesn't do that, and I don't think she understands that I'm trying to do that, so I should have said something, but... I'm also going to end up taking a shower here soon. I'm trying to decide if I want to do that before dinner or after dinner. But we'll figure that out. I'm definitely going to shower because I have a week of work. So. <clears throat> I don't know. It is still extremely beautiful out here today. Still, still. Ludo is eating leaves off the tree down here. Um, down by, underneath the stairs. <laughs> That my hungry how we used to do that all the time. So. But look at how beautiful it is out. Ah. I want to next weekend hopefully I'll be going to the greenhouse and getting like my veggies that I want to plant. I've been looking online at Amazon and looking at the planters and stuff because I want to do it up here on the deck. Because we really don't have the greatest soil to plant things. Peppers. Oh, no, that I'll take that back. Peppers are always a good one that like, grows around here. So other than that, I really don't know, but yeah, I'm hoping to get some plants next weekend to start my veggie garden, so hopefully cross our fingers. Also, I have to go out front, probably after I get him back inside, I have to go out front and start taking pictures of Guido's old stroller. Um, I've made that very hard decision to sell it because I know there's got to be somebody out there with a dog that they would like to like run around with or something like that. Um, and but they their dog doesn't have the capacity like Guido or take them on walks and they can't walk like Guido couldn't walk like more than a mile really. Hey man. <laughs> so I've made the very hard decision and I'm probably gonna end up crying and it's been taking me far too long to make the, like, get it done, but, yeah. <laughs> What? Ludo, come! Ugh. We're working on his recall, I swear. I want him to have good recall, so I've been working with him on it. I have a long leash, but I just kind of, when we brought him out here, <laughs> yeah, the bully breed does not listen well. Ludo, where are you? Why is this backyard? It actually looks a lot better. My dad cleaned it up. We had a lot of down trees after the storms and everything. Hey, what are you doing? Come on. Come on, mister. Come on. Hey. We have spent most of the day out here. Come on. Hey. Come on, Lude. Come on. Get your booty. 
peachy booty inside. He really likes this uh, backyard. Are you ready? Next month is your birthday month, according to the Humane Society I adopted you from. I'm pretty sure it's a guesstimate. Technically, before his first family took him in, he was found on the streets. So, but I think I'm still gonna celebrate his his birthday. We might get him like a cake or something. They have like a, a bakery in Grant GR that like sells like cakes and cookies and stuff for dogs. So I think I'm gonna do that because that's one thing I really regretted with Howard and Guido is I didn't do cute little stuff like that. So. I mean, occasionally I get him like ice cream or something like that, but definitely his first, I think all of his adoptive birthdays, we're just gonna celebrate him really big, but his first birthday with me, cause he's gonna be turning eight. We're definitely gonna, we're gonna get him a cake or something. <laughs> um, actually, I might just get him a cookie or something, but yeah, there's a, there's a cake maker. There's like a treat, dog treat maker. I have to find it, I'll find it. And when I do, and if I order anything for his birthday, I'll let you guys know. And I'll definitely show you it. So if you live around this area and you're looking for a good place to, like, get dog treats, homemade dog treats or something like that. But I know I can make you one myself. I'm just I'm really lazy. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. I'm finally outside out front. I'm going to take some pictures of this trailer about Guido. I only had it for a year. Yeah. This is gonna be really, really hard. I broke down Guido's crate, and that was the hardest thing ever. Like, I thought I was ready, but I still sat down and bawled my eyes out, so wish me luck. If you guys are unfamiliar with this, this is the stroller about Guido a year before he passed away. We did one K9K together. It was, I did it, I made a good time. You can see how those moms are so strong when they're pushing their kids. It's just the fact that Guido was had so many mild deformities. Uh, he just he really couldn't walk. I, I'm a runner. He couldn't really run. So I figured it's just collecting dust and spider webs on our front porch. And I figured there might be a needy dog out there that I can... I'm going to try and sell it at first. But if I can't, I'm likely just going to donate it to somebody who needs it. Um, if you guys are familiar with Piggy... Um, he is a dog that looked very similar to Guido, but uh, had a lot more male deformities than he did. He has a stroller, so either I'm going to sell it or find somebody who needs it. Hey, come on! Get out of there! Get out of there! Come on! Come on! Go! Stinker. Have these boys out for the last potty break of the evening. And then I think I'm just going to work on finishing my book tonight. I'm going to try not to stay up too late, but I found a few vlogs that I've been watching, so I might watch some more of those tonight. I just cannot... My dog is psychotic. I just don't know. I gotta go grab him, but I just don't know. I have Netflix. No! 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 Don't you dare, young man. I see you over there. to jump out of her fence. What a stinker butt. I don't even know what he saw that he thought he had to go in the parking lot that's back here. I don't know. I don't see a cat or anything. I don't know. What do you think you saw? Naughty. He always comes back, but he's only jumped over our fence like once or twice. And, oh, naughty. <laughs> I think it's been twice. He might have saw a squirrel. He's very obsessed with squirrels. Um, but I just have not been able to find anything on the streaming services quite yet. I really am ready for, like, Halloween season, because, <sighs> I just, yeah. Uh, there is a horror movie. I think it's in, I don't know if it's still in theaters or not, but I think it's, like, select theaters. It's, like, in the P, the point of view of the killer, and I'm very excited to, see, to watch it. I think I heard it's, like, really, really gory, and there's been people who vomited. <laughs> but I heard that about Terrifier 3, and I was, I mean, it was disgusting, but... It's Art the Clown. What do you expect? Um, I also heard the fourth one is coming out in December, I believe. So, hate to say. I know it's going to make me sound psychotic, but I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, no good movies right now. Um, I have Hulu, Paramount+, Plus, Netflix. Um, and then I do occasionally watch stuff on Tubi. Um, oh yeah, and I have Disney+, Plus because I have a Hulu package. 
along with his pan. But, uh, yeah, kind of irritating. <laughs> but, so yeah, I think I'm just going to watch some more YouTube channels. Um, and we're going to go to bed. Yeah. And I think I'm going to edit the vlog tonight, post it tomorrow morning, and then I'll do my week-long one, my work week one. Um, so yeah. See you guys tomorrow, I guess. Have a good night. Press the subscribe button if you want to keep watching us. Us. There's cats involved, too. Um, uh, yeah, touch that like button at the bottom if you liked this weekend's vlog. I know it was kind of boring, but I don't think we're going to do too much next weekend either, but maybe a little bit more because it is a holiday weekend and I have a four-day weekend, so be prepared for some more running content. All right. Bye guys, I hope you had a good weekend.